I've been doing this now for over three years. Dozens of countries, hundreds of videos, and this is undoubtedly the most difficult and arduous journey I've undertaken. Yeah, what's your steps? The long shaky flights, sharing hotel rooms with a gang of roaches, and this seemingly unending trudge into the rainforest. It's all in the pursuit of documenting the world's most unique food. And something tells me I'm not gonna be disappointed. I'm trying to look cool, did it work? This is a traditional Korowai treehouse. One side is dedicated to the women and the other side to the men. Amazingly, at any given time, there are two fires burning inside the house. Cooking is done exclusively in the home. We're under the treehouse right now. It's still raining, super muddy, but we're still gonna go hunt. How often are you successful? This is the top of the palm tree. When I had coconut worms in Vietnam, I found you could eat the same thing like the coconut worms do, eat the very inside of the tree. It's very fibrous and watery. And it looks like that's what's gonna happen here. It's kind of peeling the palm into- I'm Oh! <laughs> that was his portion. This is the really thick fibrous portion right here. And then here, I don't know, it kind of flowers up into this. Looks like a mop. I'm just gonna try it out. Oh, it's like a mushroom. I mean, the texture. Mmm, not a strong flavor, just kind of watery and like a nice mushroomy kind of texture. Wow, that's cool. With all their raw ingredients in hand, we head back to the treehouse to start preparing dinner. Believe it or not, we're actually up in a treehouse right now, and right here they're making this splendid meal. This is today's main dish, using ingredients caught from and found in the surrounding rainforest. It starts with a layer of dry sago tree starch, then a sprinkling of pica, a type of edible clay oh. material. It tastes like clay. Oh yeah, sure. Dry sand. sand. The practice of eating earth or soil-like substances is nearly universal around the world in tribal and traditional rural societies. Clay minerals have beneficial microbial effects, protecting the stomach against toxins, parasites, and pathogens. And then they're putting on the fern, then they put on all the sago worms from the tree, and then all this kind of fern right here. Yes. And then more on top. So this is kind of like a giant cake or something. Giant pizza or something. Okay. You're gonna put all these super hot rocks on here. Now they're gonna bundle all these leaves. It's like its own self-contained oven. And all of this is just stuff they caught and collected from right around here. Yeah, so cool. Oh, they're gonna put it on the fire. Oh, wow. 45, 35 minutes on the fire, and then we're gonna bust that open and eat it. What is that? You said the dry one. You will try. What? The dry what? Oh, no! It's a sucker worm. The sago worms that didn't make it into the main dish are put directly onto the fire and treated as an appetizer of sorts. Smoky, it kinda tastes like grilled chicken. I think as it's like singed, it's a little like charcoal flavor. They kinda cook everything this way, whether they've got some pork or some tree kangaroo. Wow, look at that. That vibrant red orange color is from the sago. It looks kinda like a pizza, except for this pizza has worms in it. Oh, it's super hot, but he's ripping it apart with his hands. She says, no, use this, be smart. And he says, yes, I agree, that is a good idea. Oh, and then this is how they prepare it. This is like one serving right here. Thank you. After a portion of sago pizza is handed to each housemate, they retreat into their own personal space to eat. Inside, oh, big sago reveal. That fern that we saw in the jungle earlier has kind of cooked down, it's kind of a, a mush. And then that is mixed with all the sago, and then there's just little chunks of worm throughout. I don't know, everyone just kind of rips it up and eats pieces, I'm gonna try it. This is sick, yo. This is so good. This is so weird. It's become this really gummy, chewy texture. And then the greens, the ferns have broke down. They're soft now. Earthy and grassy. It tastes like the jungle. It's about what you would expect. I mean, look at that. There's a giant sago worm right there in my next bite. <laughs> man, you really got to chew the heck out of it, though. That is out there, man. I must say, this is one of the most special moments of my life. Being so far away, a place we had to trek hours to through the rain, to finally being in this treehouse, their home, where they have a fire inside, they're cooking food that we caught today. It's so refreshing. It's so cool to see something this new, this different. It's beautiful, I love it. And it tastes, really, I don't know. It tastes like the jungle. Got a little bit of everything in there. Low sago, low worm, low greens, and that's Papua in a pizza.